for fostering trade and technology development in India and abroad. This TV set is the first set being offered by ET&T under its MTB plan referred to as Materials, Technology and Brand Name Assistance Plan to the electronic industry in India. This particular tape covers the two aspects of the 14-inch black and white TV set. One and first portion gives the salient design features of the TV set and the second portion gives a detailed circuit description to enable the manufacturers to get full background in the design concepts as well as careful understanding of the circuit. The design features shall be broadly discussed under electrical performance, user safety and aesthetics. On the operational side, as you can see on the front panel, the TV set has a multi-channel tuner of turret type which enables the reception of multiple channels. The control knob has a switch and a concentric variable control. The switch enables you to shift from one channel to another and the variable control enables you to tune the set to get crisp and the best quality picture simultaneously giving undistorted sound output. Just below this multi-channel selector switch is located the mains on-off switch and the volume control. The volume control in its fully counterclockwise position clicks and turns off the power to the TV set. This switch turns off the power to the set in case of both battery as well as mains operation. So it's not necessary to disconnect the battery and you can use a front panel control to turn off the power to the TV set. You will notice that the choice of control has been done with great care in this set. The volume control knob, which many other competitor sets provide of the same size as the brightness and contrast control has been changed and we have a larger control for volume control and also it's physically located away from the brightness and contrast control. The reason for this is obvious that while the set is being used in a home, the user would normally select a channel or tune it, but he'll keep the brightness and the contrast to his choice and normally may not like to disturb it. Hence, the brightness and contrast control are located separately and the knob for the volume control has been chosen of a larger size to ease the user's convenience while operating. There's a need to change the setting of the volume control depending on the program. In case of such a need, an external disturbance of the contrast and the brightness control is avoided by making the volume control bolder. These are important features from the point of view of user's convenience and users are likely to benefit a great deal by the simple but imaginative design features. On the right side of the cabinet at the bottom, you can see a DC socket has been provided. This DC socket enables you to connect the TV set to the car battery when the set is not connected to the AC mains. This DC socket has a switch to ensure that when the battery is disconnected, the set operates from AC mains and this ensures the security of the battery as well as the DC supply generated from mains. You might have noticed while the location of the DC socket was being explained to you, the operator lifted the set with considerable ease by inserting the fingers in the sl uh, slot provided in the rear cabinet. This slot is a built-in feature of the cabinet and gives a firm and comfortable grip for handling the set when lifting. Hence, no handle is required for the purpose. This was possible because the cabinet has been molded in HIPS, high impact polystyrene, a form of plastic. The use of HIPS gives a bright finish to the cabinet with choice of multiple colors for various manufacturers and long life.
also see that the rear cabinet has been provided with ventilation areas. The size of these ventilation areas has been so chosen that it's not possible even with the screwdriver for a child to reach any risky high voltage within the TV set and therefore the chance that the operator will get an electrical shock even due to accidental handling is totally minimized. On the rear side of the cabinet, two terminals have been provided for connecting the TV set to an external antenna for receiving the transmission. You can also see that the rear side of the cabinet at its bottom has two hooks provided on it. These are meant for looping the main squad. These hooks enable keeping the main squad in position when the TV set is in transit. The main squad also has a two pin molded plug provided at its termination for connecting the TV set to the AC main. In the cabinet is in two different parts. These two parts are held together by four mounting screws. Of these two screws are provided at the bottom end of the cabinet. As you can see on the monitor screen. And the remaining two screws are located in the slot in the rear portion of the cabinet which is provided for holding or gripping the TV set. All these screws are of self-tapping type. The screws are located in such a way that they are not easily accessible and therefore it's unlikely that one can easily tamper with them. Care is also taken that next to the screws a caution label has been put the caution label cautions the user from the fact that internally there are high and fatal voltage and therefore only qualified person should open the TV set. This is written in both Hindi and English language to ensure that a wide number of customers are fairly warned. On the back cover is also provided a label giving the full specifications of the TV set, model number and also provided on the same label is the space to put manufacturer's name who has manufactured the TV set out of the material package supplied by ETNT. For the convenience of the servicing personnel while opening the set, it's preferred to keep the front side of the cabinet with picture tube facing downwards on a soft surface to avoid scratch to the front cabinet. Now for the purpose of opening, take a long screwdriver near the screws provided on the lower side of the cabinet. Then turn the screwdriver in the anti-clockwise direction for opening these two screws. Now, repeat the similar procedure for removing the two screws provided in the slot on the top side of the front cabinet. When the rear cover of the cabinet is removed, the various assemblies fitted inside the cabinet are visible on your monitor screens. external controls consisting of the multi-channel TV tuner the volume control with its on off switch and the brightness and contrast controls 
are mounted on a fully electroplated mounting plate It's mounted in such a manner that it gives easy access to the servicing personnel. The control panel is held onto the front cabinet by four self-tapping screws. Econom no economy has been exercised in the choice of various components used in the TV set. This has been done to ensure that the end quality of the product is acceptable to every user and also the end quality is superior compared to any TV set of the same class marketed in the country. This has been made possible for et &T as we are procuring the components in bulk by careful vendor development at very economic prices. From the safety angle, several precautions have been taken while designing this TV set. First of all, the heat within the set has been kept to a minimum. For this purpose, the main transformer that you see on your monitor has been so designed that its temperature rise under the normal operating conditions is lower than any other main transformer to enable this. Though expensive, ETNT has chosen to use curled rolled grain oriented laminations commonly called as CRGO lamination, which has less losses and therefore the temperature rises low. This gives a very uh, ma efficient mains transformer which helps in maintaining the temperature within the set low. The mains transformer has been designed for this set in absolutely internationally state of art. It uses distinctly two bobbins on which primary and secondary are wound and electrical creepage between the primary and the secondary is also maintained at more than six millimeters thus giving almost three and a half thousand volts AC dielectric strength between the two windings, thus eliminating any possibility that there would be due to leakage from the primary to the secondary, which often takes place in a poorly designed mains transformer. All these features have been chosen with a very great care and according to the normal practice which is followed in West Germany under what are termed as VD standards or in United States under UL standards. The same safety and security has thus been provided to the consumers in this country as that are provided to Europeans and Americans by rules and regulations in their respective countries. Another feature of this set is that the primary winding of the transformer is not brought near the on off switch on the volume control. Instead it goes directly to the mains through a fuse called as AC fuse. The line supply becomes more important to be isolated because as you know the neutral pole of the line supply is almost at a ground potential and therefore user or the person working with the electric supply has very high hazard. In this method, when the mains lead is connected, a very tiny current will be drawn specially because cold rolled grain oriented lamination is used. The CRGO lam lamination takes a very little magnetizing current and therefore there is absolutely no chance of deterioration in the transformer. The mains fuse is held by two clips mounted on a small printed circuit board as you can see on your monitor screens. This PCB we shall be calling as line termination board. The DC socket has also been mounted on the same printed circuit board. This line termination PCB has four lugs. Two lugs on which the transformer primary is wired and the remaining two lugs 
are used via the AC mains cord. The location of the fuse is so carefully chosen that the line supply does not easily get exposed and the chance of accidental contact with the line is minimized. The loudspeaker which you can see on the screen is also mounted in its place in the front cabinet with special mounting brackets to ensure that during the severe vibration during transit the speaker will not get dislodged from its mounting. The picture too in the TV set is mounted in a different style than it is normally done. The picture tube has four mounting lugs and it's screwed onto the front cabinet with four screws giving extraordinary mounting strength to withstand shocks during transit. Various sub-assemblies in the TV set are connected to the main printed circuit board through connectors. This enables immediate removal of the printed circuit board and the distinct feature will enable the manufacturers to give quickest service if any to the consumers by creating replacement boards and the defective boards can be brought back to the central service station and full service could be offered. Even at the cost of adding some extra price to the material package, we at ET thought it was essential to include connectors because use of connectors really minimizes the part of the service engineer to bring out the set. The only exception being the shielded cable which goes from the tuner to the main printer circuit board. Because of the reason of noise, it is not preferred to take it through connectors. Also, the use of the additional coaxial connector could have increased the cost. The main printed circuit board is in fact held in the molding itself. The molding has guides and slots to accept the main printed circuit board. It gets well anchored in its place. The rear cover of the cabinet also has corresponding slots to ensure that when rear cover is fitted in its place, the printed circuit board gets firmly gripped on all the sides by the molding itself. This feature enables avoiding hardware mounting and at the same time gives a full support to the printed circuit board to withstand shocks and vibrations during transit. Care has been taken according to the international standard practices followed in United States or in Europe and all the printed circuit boards used within the set are of fire retardant grade. So therefore even if there is a temperature rise in any specific component due to malfunctioning it will not lead to fire or any such hazards. For the convenience of the user as you can see both for servicing as well as for testing or for assembling the non-copper side of the printed circuit board is screen printed with the conductor pattern in a color to enable any person to track and trace the circuit even from the non-conductor routing from the non-copper side of the printed circuit board. Over that is provided the component location and the component nomenclature which enables the service engineers as well as the testing engineers to immediately link the component with the circuit reference. This state of art printed circuit board is also machine punched to ensure absolute accuracy of all the boards as well as to reduce the co cost to a minimum for the printed circuit board itself. The printed circuit board on the copper side is coated with a UV cured green mask giving a very tough film to prevent the conductors against the climatic change. The solder mask does another function that if the sets are soldered on a flow soldering machine or they are hand soldered, 
the amount of solder which is used in soldering the various components is minimized. The use of a solder mask also prevents any shorting of the conductors because only those areas where the solder is required to make a firm contact between the component and the conductor is left exposed. Therefore, when the printed circuit board is either hand solder or flow solder, the flow of solder is restricted to the area where it should be. There is another small printed circuit board on which the CRT socket is mounted. As you can see from the convenience of flow soldering as well as for the convenience of the manufacturers and assembling, this portion really becomes a part of the main printed circuit board and it's chipped off from the main printed circuit board. This is another distinct feature of the TV set. The handling of the board becomes easier only after wiring all the parts and components on the printed circuit board. The portion on which the socket is mounted is detached from the main printed circuit board just by breaking around the holes which are provided. To enable to chip the board from the main printed circuit board, just twist it. One, one heat sink and one shield have been used in the TV set for extra safety of the power devices used. The heat sink for the pass element of the series regulator is scientifically designed to ensure that the entire set works trouble free and the temperature rises minimum. Similarly, the shield, which is in fact an electromagnetic and an electrostatic shield around the flyback transformer, is dually used to dis uh, dissipate the heat from the other power device used in the circuit. Maximum signal amplification in a TV set takes place in the IF section. An additional shield has been used for this section. The use of the additional shield prevents any interference and reduction of noise and spurious responses which can affect the quality of picture and sound in the television set. The quality that this IF section has been additionally shielded from the copper side also as you can see on your monitor screen. The electrical specifications for the set have been chosen to suit the requirements in India. For instance, the set has been designed to operate satisfactorily from AC line supply as well as from car battery. Care is taken to ensure that the quality of picture is not affected in spite of the variations of the line voltage and the line frequency in case of AC line supply or variation of the battery voltage in case, case of car battery operation. The common experience and the widespread measurements carried out in the country indicate that the line supply varies over a wide range in the country, especially in the small towns and rural areas. It's noticed that the voltage can fluctuate right from 180 volts to 260 volts and therefore the 14 inch black and white TV set which you have been presented is designed to operate over the full voltage range. There's a built-in voltage regulator which has been scientifically designed to ensure that the DC voltage on which the TV set works remains stable within a close tolerance of 1% even when the external line supply varies from 180 volts to 260 volts. The ingeniously designed pass element of the voltage regulator enables to minima minimize the series voltage drop and therefore the temperature rise due to the external loss is also minimized in the TV set. You can see the mounting of the series pass element on the heat sink on your monitors. The main transformer in the TV is also designed that the line fre frequency fluctuations right from 47 hertz to 63 hertz will not affect the performance of the TV. Care is taken to ensure that the battery operation is also stable and trouble free. To ensure this, the internal supply is again regulated because in case of automobile battery from which the set may be operated for instance, can change its terminal voltage right from 13.6 volts in a fully charged state to about 10.8 volts in the lowest discharge state at which it can deliver the required current. Thus, care is taken that in spite of such a wide variation in the battery voltage,
the TV set will perform and give you a stable performance unaffected. In, in case of unlikely failure in the mains transformer, the AC line fuse, which was shown to you earlier, will ensure that the transformer or any other part in the circuit does not get damaged and the fuse will blow. An additional feature of the set that it has a separate fuse in the DC side which comes into picture both for mains operation as well as the battery operation. In case of unlikely change or malfunctioning within the set, once again the DC fuse will protect the other components and the damage will be minimum. The name of the manufacturer of this TV set can be prominently displayed on the front side of the cabinet in the space provided. The various design features were chosen to ensure that the TV set has the contemporary look and it will make anyone who buys the TV set a proud possessor. The various features presented to you are basically the broad design features of this TV set. It also described to you in detail why a specific action has been taken and you will realize that it is the endeavor of ET&T to ensure that the package of materials which reach you are convenient for manufacturing and allow you to produce those sets without defects. And it also gives the user who is the main beneficiary of the entire program also gets a set which is the best produced in the country with all the safety features as well as all the classic performance that one would expect out of the TV set purchased by him. Now we shall go into the detailed circuit description after this portion of the tape. This 14 inch black and white portable TV is designed to operate from 180 volts to 260 volts AC and car battery for receiving TV transmission on CCRB frequencies. In the heart of the TV set lies a main printed circuit board which consists of three integrated circuits, 16 transistors and 14 diodes performing various functions. This black and white TV set features use of latest surface acoustic wave devices commonly called as saw filters, ceramic filters and traps to eliminate use of various tuned coils and laborious manual alignment. Screen, the block diagram of a black and white TV receiver. The various functional states have been indicated in various blocks as the VHF tuner, the VIF amplifier, SIF amplifiers, audio amplifier, video amplifier, deflection processor, vertical output amplifier, horizontal driver amplifier, horizontal output stage, flyback transformer and the regulated power supply. The functions of each stage with circuit details are being explained separately. First, we start with VHF tuner. The antenna input provides RF picture and sound signals for the RF amplifier stage, which are fed into the tuner through a balloon. The balance unbalanced transformer, which acts as a matching network between the 300 ohm impedance antenna and 75 ohms input terminals. The amplified out RF output is then coupled in the mixer stage. Also coupled in the mixer stage is the output of the local oscillator to heterodyne with the RF picture and sound signals. When the oscillator frequency is set for the channel to be tuned in, the picture and sound signals of the selective station are heterodyne down to the lower intermediate frequency of the receiver. On your monitor screen, now you can see the location of VHF tuner. The supply voltage for the tuner in the TV set is derived from the flyback transformer. You can also see plus B AGC and IF punched on the tuner chassis. These are meant to connect DC supply, AGC bias and taking out IF signal output respectively from the tuner. You can also see TP punched on the tuner chassis. This can be used to monitor the RF amplifier response by interrupting the local oscillator. 
A typical gain of around 25 decibels is achieved in this section of the television. Now we come to the VAF amplifier stage of the TV. The selected and amplified signal from the tuner is fed to the IF stage amplifier transistor through a matching network. The VAF signal is amplified, selected and fed to an integrated circuit. The following important points played a considerable part in the decision to select this design. By using a soft filter as compact selection unit in conjunction with the VAF IC, which combines a large number of functions, it was possible to realize major advances in the degree of integration and thus to enjoy the advantage of greater reliability. Only one balancing and one adjustment points are left whereby dependability in respect of possible adjustment error has been improved considerably. A study of the block diagram reveals that VAF consists of following functional units. A matching stage between the tuner and the soft filter comprising a transistor with its own filter elements. A compact filter arrangement consists of the soft filter as the selection stage. VAF IC and its peripheral circuitry giving an amplification of about 75 dB. You can see the circuit diagram of the VAF amplifier and detector on your monitor screen. The matching section of the circuitry contains the output circuit of the tuner mixer stage. The received VAF signal enters the VAF amplifier through a resonant circuit, the so-called tuner control circuit. Here the coil L202 completes the tuner control circuit to form a capacitive base coupled double tune circuit low band pass filter. That is the amplitude frequency response of this band pass filter exhibits a steeply dropping response upwards of this pass range. Thus an additional selection is achieved at higher frequencies. With regard to the use of the soft filter, the only function of which is to predetermine the overall IF selection and the envelope delay frequency response, the bandpass filter is laid out with such a wide pass range that the cutoff frequency of the filter curve corresponds to the sound and picture carrier. The bandpass filter is matched to the base of the transistor TR201 by a capacitor C203. The resistors R202 and R205 forms the base splitter for the transistor. At the same time, the resistor R205 provides the degenerative feedback for transistor TR201. Voltage feedback further improves the good cross modulation characteristics of the transistor TR201 to such an extent that reception interference from neighboring channels as well as interchannel interference are carefully suppressed. Also, this degenerative feedback reduces transistor output resistance and consequently the reflections generated more or less in the subsequent soft filter and which could assume high values capable of inducing interference if high impedance triggering were used. The coil L201 which also serves as the DC path for the transistor TR201 resonates with the input impedance of the soft filter. This results in far off selectivity and amplification. Heavily damped by the low impedance output resistance of transistor TR201, however, this resonant circuit barely influences the bandpass curve within a broad detuning range. The voltage amplification of the transistor stage compensates mainly for the transmission damping up to 18 dB of the subsequent soft filter.